happening today. It's the final showdown for a Senate seat that's been up for grabs for months now, and every vote counts. 23 ABC's Lauren Titus joining us live outside elections headquarters, where the final chapter of the District 16 special election for state Senate will start in just a few hours. Lauren? Good morning, Mike and Aaron. You have until 8 tonight to vote for either Leticia Perez or Andy Vidak. But no matter which way you vote, tonight will end this overtime election. We haven't made any false accusations. Our campaign has been focused on the issues the whole time. It's been a drawn out battle between Democratic candidate Leticia Perez and Republican Andy Vidak, one that has flooded local airwaves with mudslinging from every angle. She criticizes hateful campaigns, but Perez was forced to apologize for her personal attacks against opponent Andy Vidak. Two positions on taxes, one in each hand. Handy, Andy. He won't raise taxes. Until he raises yours. Behind the bickering, though, is what these candidates say they'll work on if you cast your vote in their favor. Number one, probably water. There's issues that are important to everybody, but water is, is a big, big deal. Well, we have to address our unemployment rate in the Central Valley. Nothing is more important. This runoff election for constituents in Kings, Kern, Tulare, and Fresno counties will fill Michael Rubio's coveted Senate seat for the district. It's going into overtime after Vidak finished above 50% at the ballot box on election night and Perez conceded too early. But mail-in ballots knocked Vidak slightly below the 50% mark and Perez re-entered the race. Today's vote, however, is winner take all. I do believe it'll take some time. I think it'll be close. We get to talk to more voters that way. Coming up in our next half hour, you'll hear how both candidates' backgrounds weigh in on their political potential. Reporting in downtown Bakersfield, Lauren Titus, 23 ABC.